What happened at Astro World recently has already been classed the deadliest festival incident in United States history. This video is going to give a brief overview of what took place on November the 5th and the events that led up to the crush. Before I begin, I want to say that my heart goes out to the victims and I will try and discuss this as respectfully as I possibly can. Astro World Festival is an annual music festival that began in 2018 in Houston, Texas, organised by the American rapper Travis Scott, who released an album with the same name that year. The festival is hosted at NRG Park, a complex that holds many events a year, including the NFL team, the Houston Texans, home games. The 2020 festival had cancelled due to COVID-19, but tickets for the 2021 edition went on sale on May the 5th, 2021. The festival increased its tickets to 100,000 people, doubling the 50,000 they sold in 2019. Despite a significant increase in ticket pricing, tickets were sold out in under 30 minutes, and the event was set to take place over two days on November the 5th and the 6th. Day 1 was initially a success, until Travis Scott took the stage at 9pm. People were reportedly crossing turnstiles and jumping fences to enter the sold out festival without tickets so that they could see Scott live. There were thought to be over 50,000 people who turned out to see Scott. Once he took the stage, the audience began to push and surge towards the front of the stage, causing the people at the front to be squashed and others to be trampled on. People were unable to breathe and many began to pass out. One survivor noted that after Travis took the stage, all of a sudden, people compressed up against each other, pushed forwards and backwards. It got worse and worse. I had constant pressure on my chest. I was being squeezed. Right when he started performing his first song, I looked at my boyfriend and said, we have to get out of here. Some concert goers claim that barricades near the stage, which were supposed to separate different sort of ticket holders, prevented them from fleeing. The calls to stop the show were ignored and Scott went on to finish his set at around 10.15pm. By this point, at least 8 people had died and 11 others fell into cardiac arrest. A further 300 other people were then treated for injuries after. The rapper was apparently unaware of the tragic horror that happened at the event and reports believe that he left the after party as soon as he learned of it. As a result, the second night was cancelled. The dead ranged in age from 14 to 27 and there is currently a nine-year-old in hospital fighting for his life, and another fan who has been declared as brain dead. A few days later, Scott offered to pay for all of the funerals. Police in Houston, Texas have launched a criminal inquiry into the deaths of Astro World, and at the time of this video, the investigation is still underway. The Homicide Division of the Police Department will investigate the incident. Videos from the area will be reviewed to see what triggered the surge and why individuals were unable to flee. Scott has since tweeted, I'm absolutely devastated by what took place last night. My prayers go out to the families and for all those impacted by what happened at Astro World Festival. Scott also said the Houston Police Department has his total support as they continue to look into the tragic loss of life. 